Welcome to another interview, spot interview for NeverEndingPanel.com. Tonight we have a very special guest, Chase Masterson. Many of you know her from Deep Space Nine, five years. She was Lita, the Davo girl. Um, That's Lita. Lita. See, no, see, no, I, it's Lita. Now I'm famous for screwing up these lines, so you know, you'll see lots of I'm just of messing with him. No, oh, you got it right the first time. Wrong? Okay. No, no, you got it um, right the first time. For those of you who are general hospital fans, right? Weren't you, uh, you Ivy Leaf? Right? Ivy Leaf, what uh, Ivy Leaf on General Hospital. This is your night, though. This is kind of odd. Does anyone it's else all, think so? It's all about <laughs> oh, the no, love. No. It's all about the love. This is wanted, about actually, if you can't actually share a night like this, then why have one? What? Yeah, see, that's what it's all about. We, we, our parents raised us well. So, um, like I said, for those discipline. who didn't hear, uh, voted uh, Sexiest Woman by Femme Fatale, well, Top 50, Sexiest Woman, Femme Fatale Magazine. Um, most popular science fiction female by Reader's Digest Poll. She wants to stop, stop it. So, Chase, we've given the intro. We've embarrassed you. Um, uh, you have a movie that just came out called Yesterday Was a Lie, which was a fascinating movie. It, was, it went into, like, quantum physics and all sorts. It's like one of these books that you read and you're like, uh, wow, yeah, I guess if the universe did split like that, these kind of weird things would happen and shot beautifully. We have the director, James Kerwin, here tonight also, um, who, was part, who obviously was very much a part of it. Um, and I, uh, uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about this movie that you not only acted in but you produced. Um, what's going on? What was the inspiration? Everything. Thank you very much, Don. In two minutes. Ten. Okay, in two minutes. <laughs> no, um, cut, cut well, first out. of all, I just want to say, I have to say, that this is so like the Cullen brothers to <laughs> be so sweet and inclusive and generous, and they're really people that are really close to my heart, so it's really a pleasure to be here. I've known them for going on two years, I guess, yeah. which is in L.A., you know, dog years. That's a long time. <laughs> so um, it's we have really... National, we have, like, historical sites that are now listed over two years. Right, we, we, we went to a convention we're like, what's that long line of people waiting to have that woman over there sign that? And then that's how we And why? It. And why? What's, what's that all about? Yes. So anyway, about, so yeah. anyway, but so if, it, if, there, if the, their character is any judge of how the new book is going to be, I'm sure it's going to be really excellent. I can't wait to Thank see you. it. Thank yeah. You. Congrats, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about the movie. Yesterday was a lie. Well, the writer-director, James Kerwin, is here, and it's truly, truly his brainchild. It's a beautiful piece of work. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a film that views sci uh, I'm sorry, uh, quantum mechanics as a metaphor for human relationships, and it's uh, quite a quite a striking piece. It's a film noir shot in classic black and white, and between James's incredible vision and the um, and the beautiful script, I knew that if I got the role, that it would be one of my favorite projects that I ever did. Um, I ended up producing it. I didn't mean to, but um, it was one of those challenging projects that um, was shot for a very, very low budget, and the producers fell out, and I stepped in to help, and it, as it turned out, I, I, I produced the film. And it was, uh, frankly, a, a very difficult, challenging, grueling experience, but um, we really are very, very proud of it. The film was listed in the 10 best films of the year on the festival circuit by Film Threat, and um, we went on for a little $200,000 film, or even for a bigger film, we've done very well. We have distribution through E1, which are the same people, which is the same company, distributing Twilight abroad. And that's a slightly bigger film. Um, it's, we're on Netflix, we're on iTunes, um, we're on Amazon, we're everywhere. We have broad distrib. We had a theatrical release in uh, December, and we've gotten rave reviews across the board. It's a real blessing. And I, I think really, the truly, the, the neat thing about it, though, is the, the film has a really strong, beautiful science fiction message, which I understand we're going to talk a little bit more about tonight. And such a beautiful, hard science message. It was just like, Wow. Thank you. It's incredibly challenging. James is brilliant, and his between the intellect and the heart of the film, which is really the core of it, is some people may initially be put off by the intellectual content because quantum mechanics as a metaphor for anything is, is a bit challenging for me anyway. <laughs> but um, it, it really, the truly, the heart of the film is, um, is what is most striking in the long run. It's, um, uh, it's just... a. I, I'm sorry to say the word again, but it's a, a beautifully heartful, almost spiritual piece. Yes, uh, um, beautifully shot. So and by I the way, um, Chase sings in this film also. For those of you who don't know, she is an accomplished jazz singer. Which is um, the question I actually do want to ask. Well, no, but I asked it first. Right, na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's your no, night. Man. It's your night. Yeah. Okay. Well, technically, no. it's also our night, so. All right, go ahead. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, actually, uh, something I've been curious about, you have two CDs out. I got them both. Uh, I listened to them both. I put them into my jazz playlist. Um, how did you decide? So I'm just curious. How did you just, were you just singing in the shower one day? You're like, hey, crap, I've got a good voice. Or did you start out as a singer and then became an actress? Or what made you decide to just do two CDs? Um, three. I, I started. <laughs> you have a third and you didn't tell me? Yeah. You know, Oops. I, horrible chase. Yeah. I started singing when I was five. Um, I, uh, 
grew up doing musical theater and I got my degree in acting and did a lot of singing in college and um, really didn't pick it up again until um, at Star Trek conventions they asked us to do a little something extra um, for the fans at night and a lot of people did comedy and I'm not very funny, so I did music. <laughs> and so um, I sing jazz. It's the only kind of music that I've ever truly loved. And it's a real pleasure to be able to sing four, four jazz songs in Yesterday Was a Lie. Um, but anyway, I, I think the music of the 40s is really evocative. And um, Thank you. Sadly, I think that's about all we have time for. Thank, okay. you, for, thank, yeah, you, yeah, thank you, Chase Masterson, for, for, for our interview. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.